Hello, Ryan here with yet another video tutorial. Now this video will also serve the purpose as an introductory video to a new calculator on the Radio Control Info website. Now today we're going to be looking at the RC LiPo Battery Power and Configuration Calculator. Now this calculator was specifically designed to assist modelers in choosing the best battery configuration and packs for their specific application. Now just like all the other videos on the website, I do have to point something out. If you're watching this video and on the website the calculator appears different, that is because we believe in continuous improvement. We're going to add the new features as they come and as we see fit. If you happen to have a suggestion on how we can make the calculator better, please leave that in the comment section below. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is you need to browse to the radiocontrolinfo.com website. Once here, you'll have to hover over the information tab, then hover over the RC general calculators tab, and then click RC LiPo battery configuration calculator. So once you've done that, you'll arrive at the main page for the calculator. Now what you see are a bunch of different options to be selected. So you have these four options to be selected, and here are the drop down menus that you have. So once you select the second LiPo battery, if this applies for you, then you'll get a list of battery two options, such as the cell count or the C rating capacity and then how you want to wire them. So let's take a look at an, a simple example with only one battery pack. Let's try it on this small two cell LiPo. So this is a pulse two cell. It's an 860 milliamp power pack and it's got a C rating of, I believe, 35 C. So let's go through that. It's a 2S pack, you have options 2 to 12, so we'll go ahead and select 2S. It happens to be the default in this case. Then we're going to select a C rating of 35C. Our battery capacity is 860 milliamps, so we're going to select the closest one, closest one being 800. Now if this next closest one was actually 500, I do want to be conservative, so I'm going to go on the smaller value in terms of capacity. So we have 860, I'm going to round down to 800. So now we don't have a second lithium pack, so let's go ahead and click calculate. So upon clicking calculate, it spits out the calculations made. Now we have voltages displayed, such as the nominal battery voltage, as well as the minimum recommended battery voltage, and the maximum battery voltage. So this is 7.4 is nominal, 6.2 is min, 8.4 is max. Our battery capacity is what we selected, so this is the 800 milliamp because it didn't have the 860 in the calculator. We have a maximum continuous discharge rate of 28 amps and a recommended continuous discharge rate of 17 amps. And of course we know the PAC C rating is 35 C. So now let's go ahead and look at a different combination of batteries. Let's take an example where we have this 4.0 amp hour pack. It's a Turnigy Graphene pack with 45 C discharge rating. Um, it's also a four cell and I have two of them here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go here and back this up. So we can now take a look at a four cell pack. It is 45 C. Our capacity is a four amp hour, 4,000 milliamp hour. We have two of these. So now we just go ahead and select these options again. 45 C, it's a 4,000 milliamp hour pack. Now we're gonna wire these in series. So let's take a look at what happens when we wire these packs in series. Go ahead and click calculate it. It spits out the results for us. So now we know the different voltages based on the wiring configuration that we have. It's, these are no longer independent voltages and parameters of just one pack. It represents the series, it represents the configuration of packs that we have. So and that is, of course, two 4S packs in series. So we have a nominal battery voltage of 29.6 volts, so that would be 8S. We have minimum recommended battery voltage of 24.8 volts, and we have the maximum battery voltage of 33.6 volts. Our battery capacity still remains at 4 amp hour or 4,000 milliamp hour. Our maximum continuous discharge rate is 180 amps. Our maximum recommended discharge rate is 108 amps and our pack C rating is 45C. So now let's see what happens if we place these in parallel and then go ahead and select the calculator my results. So the voltages we see are different. Um, we also see different battery capacity as well as discharge rates. So our nominal battery voltage is 14.8 with minimum 12.4, max 16.8. 
Our capacity is now 8 amp hour, 8,000 milliamp hour with a maximum continuous discharge rate of 360 amps. We also have maximum recommended continuous discharge of 216 and our pack C rating is still 45 C. So that really sums up what our configuration would look like with these two packs in series and also in parallel. So now I just want to go and explore a couple other things too. So if we end up taking this battery C rating and we change it, instead of 45C, let's make this 10C and let's make this one 20C. So now we know we have batteries that represent two different types. What happens? Well, if we click calculate those results, it's going to spit out the results for us with those different uh, parameters. So in this case, these are our different parameters. Our Pack C rating, notice how the Pack C rating as an overall changes. It's 15. It's actually using the average of the two packs. Um, our maximum recommended continuous discharge rate is 72 amps with a max continuous discharge rate of 120. Our capacity remains the same and all the other parameters are the same as well. Um, so you can see it, the calculator does handle certain situations. It'll also give you messages if it doesn't like what you've put in, but it still calculates it for you. It'll also give you error messages. If you try and put two packs that are of a different voltage in parallel, it's going to say no. So in this case, it says error. You cannot place two batteries in parallel with different cell counts. And this is very true. If you do that, you will have some serious problems on the pack that is of a lesser voltage. So in this case of the 2S pack, if you did put these accidentally in parallel instead of in series. So that just goes to show you a couple of the different features and what this calculator can do. Um, if you're looking to see more calculator or video tutorials on these calculators, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We also have some other RC content that kind of fills in the voids. It's going to be mainly consisting of radio control airplane stuff and then I'm hoping to get some more boat content in there as well. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.